you watching Big Blue Barbecue and things I want to do. And let me tell you what I did the other night. I cooked some cabbage jambalaya. You know, it's St. Patrick's Day right around the corner. A lot of people are eating cabbage. You know, at the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New Orleans, they throw cabbages there. So what better way to do than cook cabbage jambalaya? And it's a New Orleans style jambalaya anyway, because it's got tomatoes in it, you know. I got the idea from uh, this little brochure I got from Kinlock Pecan Oil. See, in May of 2020, I bought some Kinlock pecan oil and I've been cooking with it ever since. And I've made it, used it in a lot of videos. And uh, the folks at Kinlock noticed that I used one in a recent fish video. I'll leave that right there in the iCard, all right? And so uh, I had this um, half liter of it and they sent me some more. They sent me this three quarters of a liter. Yeah, 750 milliliters, that's a fifth, right? They sent me some more. They also sent me some of their balsamic vinegar they import from uh, Italy. It's a good balsamic vinegar. I've had it. It's an IGP. That means it's a geographically protected uh, region. All right. And anyway, um, type vinegar. It's real good. But pecan oil, I like cooking with it. All right. Anyway, um, they sent this. It's got a recipe for cabbage jambalaya. And um, they got all these recipes there. But if you notice the cabbage jambalaya one, it's the only one that doesn't have a picture of the food. So yeah, that's kind of interesting, right? Hey, uh, it turned out real well, um, but it took a long time for me to cook the brown rice. What I would suggest to you is if you try this recipe, put the brown rice and the chicken broth or chicken stock in uh, and cook that rice first, then put in your cabbage and your other ingredients or however, but kind of pre-cook the rice because it did take a long time for the rice. Um, the other thing I did was I substituted the recommended uh, Koneka sausage because it's got a lot of MSG in it for a local brand sausage that doesn't have MSG. And uh, the chicken broth it called for, I used uh, homemade chicken stock and um, I just used a cup and a half of that and not the half cup of water. So anyway, other than that, I followed the recipe to a T. Came out really good and um, let's try some cabbage jambalaya. All right, got this pot heating up and it calls for two tablespoons of Kenlock pecan oil. And since I got this cool jigger, I should be able to pour one because two tablespoons, well, that's an ounce. So that's it, two tablespoons right there. All right, let's go ahead and get this browned up. It says to brown the onions and the garlic together. I normally don't do that if I'm making regular jambalaya. The garlic goes in later because garlic can burn. And I brown the celery and bell peppers with the, with the onions. But in this one, we get the onions, the sausage, the garlic, four cloves of garlic, all brown. It looks like I do have a piece of bell pepper in there, but it'll survive. All right, so I'm get that browned up. We'll go to the next step. All right. It's not as brown as I usually like the onions in a jambalaya, but I have a sausage with it. The onions are brown. And uh, I'm going to continue to cook them for three more minutes. Just throw it in the bell pepper and the celery. And we brown all this up together. It's it for about another three minutes, but I'll do it till I think they're brown, okay? Starting to smell like jambalaya now. All right, this has been going another three minutes. The bell peppers are wilting and the celery's wilting and bell peppers browning rather. It's tight. It says add in the other, the other ingredients. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just add the cabbage in first. I got the whole head of cabbage chopped up. I chopped it up kind of small. So I need it to fit in this thing, all right? Get it all in there. Just like that. All right. 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Like I said, this makes it a Creole style jambalaya, but of course with cabbage, I guess that makes it a Creole too. I don't know, all kind of ingredients. This is that unholy alliance of chicken stock and pot liquor that I made today. It's vegetable stock and chicken stock together. Uh, basically, that's uh, the cup and a half they wanted. They wanted uh, one cup of chicken broth and a half cup of water. I substituted it that. And here's all the other ingredients. The salt, the cumin, the, uh, get on out of there. The paprika, I used hot, uh, spicy uh, smoked paprika. The cayenne powder, cayenne pepper, which is normal. And um, let's see what else is normal in that. Black pepper, salt, cayenne. But chili powder and cumin is kind of interesting, you know? Just wait a minute, I forgot the rice. It's supposed to call for a cup of brown rice. Hello. Probably should have made sure that rice was down in the water there, huh? All right, now I really got to stir it. So ignore what I said earlier, let's get that rice down in there. 
that broth is boiling. All right, well, it is what it is. I probably should have dug a hole like that and poured the rice through the hole and then started uh, stirring it. But next note to self, next time put the rice in before the cabbage with the liquid, make sure that rice is all good and wet. But I figure if I go ahead and cover it now, and I am gonna let it boil a minute. It doesn't say to do that, it says to go ahead and simmer it, but I'm gonna let it boil at least a minute or so, then I'm gonna turn it down and simmer it. All right, it's been going about a minute or so, maybe longer, you can certainly see the liquid. Cabbage is starting to wilt. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and now turn it down to the simmer. It's just said bring it to a boil, but I wanted to make sure I got some of that stuff cooked on the bottom. You got it real steamy in here because all that rice hit the liquid. So I want to make sure that goes in there. It's only a cup of rice. Cabbage is going to be the majority of this, uh, of this stuff. So anyway, it'll be easier to stir once the cabbage goes down a little bit. So let's go ahead and cover it back up and start letting it simmer. All right, it's been about, the, it said recommended 40 to 50 minutes. And it's been right at 50 minutes. And I checked this a little while ago. And I'm still not sure that rice is tender yet. I should have just left the rice out because everything else in here is cooked. Yeah, that rice is still a little, that rice isn't right yet. So I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. It's been on 50 minutes, but I'm gonna let it go longer till that rice gets right. All righty. Well, again, there it is, it's still steaming. That rice will continue to cook in there, but we need to eat and the rice has gotten edible, but it's not as soft as I'd like it to be. Go ahead and just serve it up right like that. And it does look like a cabbage stew of some sort. All right, I'll put the lid on it and uh, do the taste test and we'll end this video. All right, I got this delicious bowl and I got some French bread slices that I heated up in the oven with some butter. All right, and uh, I'm ready to try this uh, so-called cabbage jambalaya. Look, uh, I looked at some other videos. Some of them had ground beef in it. This didn't call for ground beef. Um, I've never put ground beef in jambalaya before either. Because uh, you don't put beef in jambalaya. It's pork and it's sausage and either pork or poultry. All right. And then sometimes there's some seafood jambalayas too, with some shrimp or something. I, I don't know about a crawfish jambalaya. Crawfish too precious to put in a jambalaya, but maybe there is crawfish jambalaya. Anyway, um, how much can you vary a recipe before it's not the recipe anymore? A jambalaya is a recipe that can be varied. There's a lot of variations on it. And yeah, you can put tomatoes on it. You got Creole jambalaya. But if you switch out the rice for pasta, it's called pastalaya, not jambalaya. How come this isn't called uh, cabalaya or, or um, jambage or something, some ab, where you combine the two words together? I don't know. Anyway, um, I think next time I'll pre-cook the brown rice or leave it out. It just took a long time for that rice to get soft. But it smells delicious. I like cabbage. And let's try this. That's really good. The rice is okay right now. It needs to sit there even longer, but it's edible and chewable. Um, it's really good, but it tastes like cabbage and it's got a little jambalaya flavor. I mentioned earlier that chili powder doesn't go in jambalaya. I was mistaken. You know, I've forgotten because I make my own Tony's and I should have remembered. Tony saturates, which is a common seasoning people use in their jambalaya. The main ingredient is chili powder. So chili powder does go in it. Cumin, on the other hand, not so much. That's got some jambalaya flavorings, but it's got cabbage cooked in it. I gotta say it's good. I wanna thank the folks at uh, Kenlock Pecan, um, or Kenlock Plantation who make the pecan oil for sending me some more. Um, I love that stuff. By the way, I am from Louisiana. I say pecan. You can keep your pecans away from my kitchen, away from my uh, backyard barbecue, and anywhere else I'm cooking, because your pecans just aren't uh, sanitary near where I'm cooking, all right? I say pecan, but however you pronounce it, that pecan oil, pecan oil, however you want to say it, is delicious. And uh, thank you, uh, Kenlock, again, for sending it to me. Cabbage jambalaya, I may add it to the uh, repertoire, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that rice to cook a little quicker. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.